Today we are on lesson 6.1, so make sure you have your book, and you need to turn to page 241. It says, Debbie saw this page in a puzzle book. Two rows of numbers are missing. Use what you know about counting to write the missing numbers. So what are some things that you might know about numbers? I want you to think about it, and if you have um, a friend sitting next to you, you can tell them, um, or you can think of the them in your head and, and share with me in just a moment. What do we know about numbers? Do the order of numbers ever change? Will one day 100, will we start 100 here and then go 100, 98, 99? Yeah, absolutely not. Numbers are always in the same order. Their order never changes. So it's kind of like a pattern. Every, every single time we count, we know we're going to start at 1. And... We know that if we're counting to 100, we're going to end at 100, and all the numbers in between are going to be in the same order. So today, you are going to be writing the missing numbers in the first two rows. So I'm going to go ahead and on this page do it, it with you. So go ahead and get your pencil out and help me out here. So we're going to start at 1, and we always start over here in this side, 1, 2, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, when we get to the end, we know we're at the end because our ten is there. And this is the, um, I call it my tens column. I know that if I um, keep going down, I'm going to be counting by tens. 10, 20, I know 20 goes in this blank because it's 10 more than 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay, so we're going to come down here to the second row and we're going to start 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Do the order of those numbers ever change? No, they don't. You are right. They do not change. Okay, so we can always figure out on a puzzle like this which numbers are missing. Let me go ahead and flip the page and show you what we'll be doing next. So today we're going to be counting forward um, by, by one number. So my marker bled through a little bit, but we'll try to work around it. It says count forward, write the numbers. So if you need help, they have um, put a hundred chart, 120 chart up here for you to use. Um, and so you can use that as your cheat sheet if you need. If not, you can start right here and it says 10. What comes after 10? They did that one for you. 11, go ahead and trace it. Then 12, then 13, then 14. Very good. Now they're going to jump to 100. They want you to start, sorry, right there, at 100. And they did the next one for you, 101. If you were not sure what came after 100, we could look over here at this handy dandy chart, and we are at 100. And we're going to slide over here to the row right underneath. And it says 101. Now we know 102 is next. 102. What comes next? 103. 104. Oh my goodness, they keep getting harder on us. All right, now they popped up to 110. So if you don't know all the way that far yet, that's all right. You can come over here and look at our handy dandy chart. And you start at 110. And then you pop down here to the next row, 111. They did that for you, 111. And then we 112, 113, 114. All 
All right, is this making sense, guys? So today we are counting by ones. We are looking for the pattern. And I wanna show you something kinda of, uh, neat about this. Let me turn it back to this page. Now, if you look in each of these rows or columns, you're gonna see that the numbers all end the same. It's like a pattern. When we do a hundreds chart or a hundreds and twenties chart, our numbers are always going to have the same ending number um, in that column. So in our first one, all of them follow the same rule and they all have ones at the end. Then we all have twos at the end, threes at the end, fours at the end, fives at the end, sixes, sevens, eight, nines and zeros. So that's kind of a neat little um, fact that you, uh, that might come in handy when you're doing this. So after 114, what's gonna be the, the next number? Right, 115, then 116. Then 117. And remember, it's okay if you need to look at the chart because this is something new we just started and and you may have to look at the chart. Um, these numbers are a little bit tricky. They are pretty um, high. We haven't really uh, worked with these numbers yet. So 118, 119, and 120. Okay, then you're gonna come down here and you're gonna start with 51 and then you're gonna count by ones until you get to the end of the sequence. And then you're gonna to go to 94, and then 78, okay? And then 35, and then 104. So I want you guys to do these on your own, okay? Try them out. And then I want you to come over here, and you're going to do the exact same thing. Um, let me go ahead and show you on number 14. So skip down there with me and then you can go back and finish the ones in between. So they want you to use a counting chart to write the missing numbers. So sometimes we might not start at the front, we might start in the middle or we might start with the ending number, just like they've done here, they started with the ending number. So you're gonna start right here on 120. If you need to look at the chart, that's fine because this one's pretty tricky. So right over here is the chart, there's 120. So they're trying to figure out what comes before 120. So I'm gonna come over here, 120, what comes before? Oh, 119. So I'm gonna write 119. All right, now what comes before 119? Can you see? 118, okay? And then 117, 116, and I keep working my way backwards. So sometimes when you're using a chart, you can work your way backwards. So let me go ahead and finish that up. 117, follow along on your book. 116 and 115. It is 100% okay if you use that chart, okay? Like I said, these numbers are really big and we haven't really worked with them a whole lot yet, so don't be afraid to use that chart. So right now, your job is to complete number two through 15. So do this whole page and then this whole page. All right. If you have any questions, you may raise your hand and ask me while you are working on this. And you can watch the video again if you um, get to any parts where you're not sure what to do. You might try watching the video again and, and uh, listening to what um, you should do. And if you can't figure it out still, then please raise your hand and I will come by and help you.